Well, see if that, that works out. We'll see what happens. I'm not happy. <laughs> now it's snowing harder. It looks like fog. I didn't want fog. I wanted nice bounced light. Well, I've taken a shot. Well, I've taken a shot anyhow at the worst conditions to just in case I don't get anything. I think I'll hang around for another Uh, should be about 10 minutes or so and hopefully then I'll uh, get some better conditions but it is just miserable stand here and the worst thing is it's not quite enough snow to make it interesting uh, it's just enough snow to make it annoying so but that's life us landscape photographers are never happy. Well, I put this image into Photoshop so I could uh, remove some distracting elements with the clone tool. And I think it's picked up a lot of uh, contrast somehow from, from the, you know, which wasn't there present in the raw file which I think distracts from what I was trying to achieve. But, ah oh well, never mind. Well, I'm in the woods and I'm taking a picture through these Scotch pines. There's one, two, three, four, yeah, yeah, four, five prominent ones. So sort of off by here and then, oops, sort of off by there, sort of down here. Uh, leaving this part of the brightness in. If you squint, it looks like a lens shape, so at least it draws you into the centre of the picture. Now I'm just waiting for all this hard light to sort of go and some a bit softer, wait for a bit of cloud to go over the sun, and that should do it. Actually, the bounce light when it's not direct sunlight but it's bounced off a cloud or, or the side of a hill, it actually makes it look better. I mean like sort of now we see it uh, increasing but now it's gone too far <laughs> well I'll take one anyhow <laughs> anyhow yeah so that's just uh, yeah that's just too far now because it adds a bit too much contrast to it and it was that sort of like um, almost matte sort of looking uh, sort of wraparound light I'm sort of going for you see I think it's more sort of sexy you see <laughs> in hindsight I don't think I should have taken this picture because I haven't captured what I saw or felt at the time so I apologize for this one just ignore it I'm just waiting for the sunset. I'm just enjoying this 
brief moment in time of serenity. I could rush around like an idiot trying to find another composition. I'm too tired. I need a cup of tea. I've got my brewing kit here, but I've left the meths. Sorry, methylated spirits at home. So I'd have a nice icy cold drink of water on this cold day. Ah, oh, this is quite nice this. The weather's got worse or better. I can't even see the other side of the lake now. There was a brief picture of a boathouse with a nice uh, snow in front of it, but I can't see the boathouse anymore. So I'll sit here for a little while longer and hope I survive. I'm racing round, I'm trying to get the sun behind a clump of trees. It's there, but it's a bit too bright at the moment. I thought there might be a bit of cloud in the way to help attenuate the, the brightness. <laughs> Can't see what I'm doing now, I'm staring at the sun. Right, nearly at it. That's it. As you can see, the sun's setting, and I just quickly uh, shot a few shots when the disc of the sun was just going down behind the, I think it's a tor or the clump of trees on the hill. Um, now I'm just waiting for it to go down completely now so you can get a, a nice clean silhouette of the trees. Uh, can't feel my fingers anymore, my gloves have got a bit wet and cold. <laughs> well I've exposed it, well various different exposures, but this current one is uh, F11 uh, 60th uh, 100 ISO and you see a little fine strip of uh, bright cloud that's just on the highlight warning that means there's still a little bit of detail in there and also I've exposed it to that just to give enough leeway so I can pull out some detail in the shadows if need be
thanks for watching this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel also turn on those annoying three in the morning notifications to keep you up to date with all new videos